right, so continuing on with mean, we're going to really hit the mean here. So we're going to leave mode and, and median behind a little bit. Uh, we're going to look at the sample mean or population. It works the same way with population mean with frequency tables. Now you do have to do them differently with frequency tables. There is a by hand method and the book goes through the by hand method. So if you want to use the by hand method, that's fine. Uh, we'll be using the calculator because it's more accurate. You're less likely to make an error. And I'm going to assume all of you will be using the calculator. All right, so it's all done in the stats key. All right, so here's that table that we had in 8.1. I have the number of years. So we took a survey of 120 people who are unemployed. And we figured out how many of them were, how many of them completed so many years of high school, right? Zero through four. And so remember, the years of high school were the X value. This would be how many, the frequency. And I want to find what was the average, right? How many years of high school did these particular people average? All right, and it is a sample mean. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go out and survey every single unemployed person. I only sampled 120 unemployed people, right, which, again, that's horrible handwriting, sample mean. We're going to do this on the calculator. So, again, it's located the same place that we did before. It's in the stat key. First thing we do is edit. So go to my stat key, edit, so pick one. All right, my, I've got my previous list in there, so I'm going to clear that out. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit clear. I clear that, I always clear it out first. And then list one is always your X value. So in list one are the X values, which in this case are the number of years of high school. List two is always your frequency, which would be the number of people in the survey who completed so many years of high school. All right, so list one and list two. All right, so go back to my calculator and type in list one. So list one was zero, one, two, three, four, and then make sure I'm careful when I type in my frequency, so 6 went with 0, 24 went with 1, 139, 30, and 21. I'm going to make sure that I didn't mistype something. All right, then quit. Quit. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to go back in. So once we hit quit, we go back into stat and then over to calculate. It's still one variable statistics. There's only X values. The frequency just represents how many of those X values they were, right? There were six zero X values. There were 24 one X values, right? There were 39. So in case you're curious, the mode would be 39, right? Because that's the biggest frequency, right? 39 which probably is also the medians in there as well, would be the two. I'm not interested in that, just interested in the mean. And so it is still one variable statistics. So you go in and you pick one variable stats again. Now, again, I'm going to talk about what your calculator, so if your calculator is like mine, uh, it's a newer version. So when I go into stat, go over to calculate, I pick one, one variable statistics. Hit enter. All right, now I'm going to tell it I've got a frequency list. And so where you do that is down here you've got L1 and L2. List is always L1. Frequency list is always L2. And so it's in blue. So I have to hit second, two, and it'll pop my L2 there. All right, and then I'm ready to go ahead and calculate. If your calculator is an older version and one variable statistic stop, pops up on your screen, all right, so you've got, I'm going to try to draw it here, all right, so if you're an older 83 or an 84, and on your window it just pops up one variable stats, you have to tell it list one, list two. You have to do after one variable, don't hit enter yet, after one variable stats, you have to hit L1, L1 comma L2 and then enter. All right, and I'll show you where the comma was because a lot of times students can't find the comma. 
comma is right above 7. All right, so you're going to have to hit L1, which is second 1, comma, right above the 7, L2, which is second, the 2 button. And then you hit enter, and when you hit enter, it should pop up all of this information. All right, and we're just looking for the mean, so the sample mean is the very first one listed there, the 2.3. All right, so X bar, right, 2.3. So X bar is 2.3 is the average number of years the sample of people in the sample completed high school. Let's read that in the sample completed high school. That's the average. Huh? So on average, it was 2.3 years of high school completed. Some people completed more than that. Some people completed less than that. That's just the average, 2.3 years of high school. Right, next example, which again, for some reason, when I popped it into this program that I used my, my key for my uh, thing, the numbers got a little wonky here in my greater than the less thans. But this is the same one that we had, uh, similar one that we had before. All right, so 40 goes with the group 190, so this is 100, so 90, and again, everything kind of got flipped, upside, flipped around. All right, so for some reason, these got flipped around, so this should have been, So between, so it's your grading, 90, 80, 70, 60. All right, so 40 people land in the first group, second group, third group, so on. All right, so the first thing, I want to find the mean. So I'm going to try, I'm going to use my frequency table. I'm going to use my calculator. But before I do that, remember, whenever we're given a brackets, right, a range of values, we can't plug in 100 to 90. We can't plug in 90 to 80, 80 to 70, 70 to 60. And so what we have to do first is first we have to find the midpoints of each bracket. That's my x value. And so again, it's taking the high, low value, so 90 and 100. So my first midpoint, I'll put my x bar, my first midpoint would be taking 100 plus 90 divided by 2, and that would be 95. My second midpoint would be 90 plus 80 divided by 2, and so that's 85, and so on. And it actually goes by 90. And you can, you might be able to do this when you're head, right? The number in the middle of 190 is 95. The number in the middle of 90 and 80 is 85. And so the next one would be 75, then 65, and then 55. And so I'm going to redraw my frequency table here where I'm using my midpoints. So 95 for the first one, 85, 75, 65, and 55. Right? Those are my midpoints of my bracket. So those represent those midpoints. And then the frequency. So with the 95, we're going to say 40 people got 95. 65 people got 85. 62 got 75. 53 got 65. And 30 got 55. All right, so there's my relative frequency table using the midpoints. All right, so that's step one. And now I can go to the calculator. All right, so on the calculator, again, you're going to go to stat list one are going to be the x values, the midpoints. List two are your frequencies. All right, so list two are going to be your frequencies. And so you go to your calculator, clear everything out that's in there. So go to your stat key, edit, clear our previous list. And then carefully type in. Remember, L1 are your midpoints. Our midpoints were 95, 85, 75, 65, and 55. And then
then how many people we said had each of those? 95, 85, so, so 95 people, we said there were 40 students. And then 65 for the 85, 62, 53, and 30. Now I'm just gonna do a quick line, make sure I typed in right, 40. 65, 62, 53, 30, 95, 85, 75, 65, 55. All right, so I'm good to go. I'm ready to quit. Go back into stat. Go over to calculate my one variable statistics. Again, if your calculator is like mine, list should say L1, frequency list should say L2. You're good to calculate. If yours is the other calculator, you have to have L1. So you have one variable statistics. L1 comma L2, so enter, and it'll give you the information. And so I'm only looking for the average. The average score is 76.28, 76.28. All right, so the average score for the class is a 76. I already forgot. Remember, if yours is the old calculator, you had one variable stats show up on your top of your screen, then you would have had to hit L1 comma L2. And then you should get the same answer that I did if you carefully typed it in. All right, so that is the mean using frequency table. Right, next thing we're going to look at is the mean using probabilities. Well, the expected mean. Right, we'll stop there.